Welcome to Big Data Pedia. So in this video we are going to see how to write the data into SQL Server via Spark. That's we are going to see it. So the prerequest already I just mentioned what are the prerequisites we need to use it and how we need to use it. That's I just mentioned in read table in SQL Server that video. I will be mentioned that link in description. So here the software I am using MS SQL Server 18.4 Java 1.8 as driver classes SQL JDBC 4.1 and DA, JDBMS driver is 7.2.2 JRE8 with respect to Java version the same JDBC driver you have to use okay here we just come and see the data actual data is available so total 8 records I just loaded into SS, uh, SQL server this data we have already read now I just create a new data and inject into this DB that's we are going to see it now so I just open it PySpark so here you can see the data with I just show the code so this is the old code to read the data read SSS so this is the read SMS data and now we just create a write SMS so spark is open I just create a new data frame as df1 equal to sc dot parallelize and I just creating as a list of tuples values so I just providing the value with 3 comma x y z comma another one tuples 4 comma w x y z okay this record I just convert into the data frame as a and B with respective of this column we just going to load the data so no data frame created we just show the data how it look like okay so A and B two column and both with respective of the column data type is matched exactly with our table so A and B as a int and string value both will be exactly matched now I am going to inject this data into this data frame sorry this table So I just mentioning the SQL properties. Username as SSMS user. Password as SSMS user. Both I'm using the same only. So I just mentioned, and then additionally you need to mention a driver, which driver you are going to refer it this driver name you will get from this query that's it the SQL properties we have properly scheduled now we just going to insert into this DB so write dot JDBC and then I just provide the URL This is the actual URL. I'm going to use it the same here. JDBC SQL Server instance type everything is the same only. Database as demo. And then table name. Here we have used test table name that I just referred and mode of operation.
it's going to append the data so that's I just mentioned here and then properties as SQL Pro so this information above we have provided so username password and driver everything will be provided into this SQL Pro here so yeah, it will be going to refer from here and inject into that okay now you just go and see the data okay 3 and 4 additionally just included now I just re-execute the same JDBC again and you can see the data once again it just inserted twice 3 and 4 likewise you can interact with your SQL server via spark that's it next session we will be discuss in different hands-on Please provide your comments on below. Thank you.